Hi Sagittarius, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. And today we have behind the scenes on your person. We do. So we have an oracle spread here, right? With the Lenormand and the fortune telling cards, right? And so I feel like you're dealing with somebody, Sagittarius. This person is probably a wealthy man. They could be, right? They don't have to be like, you know, majorly rich, but they have some money here. I feel like they do. I also feel like Sagittarius, this person right here, concerned. They are concerned about how to contact you. I don't think you're with this person. Person, uh, maybe, but it doesn't really look like it here. I feel like you are their wish. Here's the wishing well. And the tree of life is here, right? As the first card. This is wisdom gained in this reading. I feel like it is. Wisdom gained. I feel like you are their wish and they want to grow roots with you. Like they want a family. Uh, I feel like they are trusting their intuition because uh, the, uh, the tree of life uh, is here, which is like the Kabbalah, right? The tree of life in the Kabbalah is here. Uh, right. And so the rainbow is kind of swirling around it. And we see the fertility here. This talks about trusting kind of heaven and earth, both, right? Like trusting the cosmos and about earthly things that you want. Basically, mm -hmm. there's some wisdom that has been gained here for sure. Maybe this person has gone through an awakening, the concerned cards next to the letter. Here they are. Maybe they're this, you know, white haired man. I'm not sure, but they don't have to be. No, but he's sitting in the chair thinking about this letter. Now it could be to let somebody else know they've made a decision possibly because we have judication here. We have the child here. This judication is usually a decision, but it can be the act of judicating in court. Now, when I first pulled this uh, reading, I didn't realize uh, the cards were kind of uh, all in the reverse. It's a long story, but I had the court, uh, card reversed. Yeah. And now we have judication. Somebody's going to court and maybe they're married or something and they have to pay child support, right? Uh, it could be a decision about a new beginning, but somebody here might, uh, might be making a decision. Your person could be making a decision. I feel like definitely they are. I feel like they're going to contact you. I also feel like you are their wish right here. Yeah. And this tree of life, is wisdom gained, right? About how to live your best life and how to come and, you know, and bathe with you, Sagittarius, in the wishing well, right? <laughs> and uh, you, a lot of people are going to wish they had uh, a well in general because uh, they're trying to take water away and food as well. And that sounds extreme, but that is the extreme situation. Uh, that they are trying to bring on here. Yeah. The adjudication card with the child. This person's making some type of a decision. That's why they are sitting in this chair, Sagittarius. Very concerned. It's, you know, it can be a worry, but it's like, how do I do this? How do I do that? Right? I feel like it has to do with them contacting you. They could be going through a divorce. This adjudication card, especially with the court card that is not here, that was in the reverse. And this adjudication card, these two people are in court and He's, you know, handing down some type of a sentence, right? Uh, and they're not really guilty. Uh, no, they're not. But uh, there's something here. And they're not standing together. No, they are not. They're standing apart like, you know. Mm -hmm. And we have the false person and the wealthy man. Your person could be getting a divorce. It could be, right? It really could be. Um, and they could be concerned how to contact you, Sagittarius, maybe because they have been the false person. But I do believe with the tree of life and the wisdom it offers, right, that this person has gone through an awakening. That's how we start the story here. They've gone through an awakening that you are their wish. They're concerned how to contact you or maybe how to contact somebody else, this letter, right? Uh, and they, are, they could be concerned about this decision that might involve a child. And they could also be concerned about this decision and this letter, I believe, about how to contact you. Because they have been uh, maybe a real jerk here with the false person and the wealthy man. So let's see. And we're going to pull cards just for them, right? 
and I hope you guys are all well. Yeah, I hope you are. I didn't say that, right? Okay, but I hope you guys are all well. And don't live or die by these readings, Sagittarius, all right? Don't, because uh, we don't want you to fall into the well over here, all right? I feel like if you fall into the well, though, that, you know, your person's going to come and they're going to come and rescue you. Yeah, this is like a rescue situation, like kind of like I got to rescue myself because I'm really in love with Sagittarius. Yeah, this person could be uh, maybe going through a difficult situation. They could. Mm -hmm. So let's see what we have uh, for Sagittarius. This person. Yeah, let's see what we have. And today we're using the true love deck. Yeah, that's what I like to call it, right? It's really called the enchanted love. But uh, I have my own names, right, for everything and everybody. Yes, I do. <laughs> Let's see what we have, you guys. And some of them are affectionate, right? But, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see what we have. And some of them are poking fun. And some of them are how I see it, right? Yeah, with a little bit of tweak on it, right? A little, mm-hmm. Let's see what we have for Sagittarius' this person. Yeah, let's see what we have. Mm-hmm. We'll get one more shuffle. So we have the Sagittarius' person. And, uh, yeah, let's see what we have. They have the Prince of Cups or the Charmer. Okay. Maybe they were a major Charmer and kind of a false person at the same time. Uh, let's see what else we have. The Prince of Cups. And we're going to talk about these cards because they're very deep. And uh, they're very, like, intricate. Like, they're, yeah, they have a lot to say, each card. The realist is in the reverse. This could be the king of pentacles who's in the reversed, reverse. And we have the queen of pentacles in the reverse. Wow, did I flip the cards? Maybe I did. Let's have a look at these cards here. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty good at that. <laughs> pretty notorious for that. No, you just have all these. Your person has uh, many reversals here i feel like they do let's see what else they have they have the opportunity card in the past in the reverse so this is a missed opportunity or you were their wish and they didn't they didn't get to be with you something like that right i do believe this person uh figured it out let's see here we have the queen of pentacles here or gems in what, why it's all happening here. This is the nurturer. It's in the reverse. I don't feel like this person nurtured this in the past. Like they didn't realize. Yeah, the realist is in the reverse here. Like they didn't realize they weren't being, they either weren't awakened or yeah. I mean, you can't realize things if you're not awakened, right? This is why I'm always trying to uh, veer people to my website to that don't, that are unaware of what's going on, you know? Mm-hmm, because uh, the news is not, it's very dishonest. Uh, they're liars. Yeah, and so how could you know what's going on unless you're kind of uh, following the people who are trying to bring truth, right? Let's continue, though. We have the four of roses with respect. This is what's on their mind. This is the four of wands in this deck, right? The roses are the wands because of the inspiration and the passion. But this respect is on their mind. This is like, yeah, R-E-S-P-E-C-T, find out what it means to me. That's what this reading's about. This person has awakened to the respect they owe you because you are their wish. Like, I cannot disrespect Sagittarius because of the respect that is here. Yeah. So let's see what else we have. And in the near future, we have the Ten of Wands, stress. This, is, this person has stress. I bet you, I bet you it's right now. Because here's the concern next to the letter. The concern, this is worry and like, what am I going to do? How am I going to handle that? I need to figure this out. And the adjudication card, they need to figure it out. I feel like this person was, they didn't respect you in the past, the false person. And this is part of their concern here, right? Because what's on their mind is respect. And here they are stressed out. Yeah. And the Princess of Gems, this is... Uh, this is kind of like the, the knave possibly, or not the knave, but like, kind of like the, uh, the, it can be considered, uh, it can be considered the knight or the page, but this is, uh, let's call it the knight of pentacles. The, uh, the, this is talks about somebody who's very smart, 
like the in, like the genius, right? Let's see though, in their concern, this person's trying to have strategy here. That's what's going on. Let me shut this off, you guys. They're trying to have strategy because the concern card is next to the letter and here's adjudication about a decision. They are, they're because they disrespected you in the past and they want a new beginning with you. Yeah, hold on one second, you guys. Okay, I beg your pardon. Yeah, this is a trip here. There's definite disrespect here. There was. There's not now. Now there's like adoration and hope. The wishing well is about a wish, but it's about hope. A hope, right? To make my wish come true. For sure. And it's like, I hope somebody loves me. I love them. That type of energy. I feel like in the past with this charmer, this is them, the charmer, like the Prince of Cups. This person uh, was probably some type of a charmer, right? Um, that could be the Knight of Cups, but you know, it doesn't, the, the sign's not uh, really kind of the most important thing. Good God, no, this is about their energy and this realist in the reverse this person wasn't paying attention. As I said, they have gone through an awakening now. They didn't nurture this. I feel like they, you know, maybe they couldn't make this like come true in the past because the realist is in the reverse. Like that's not reality. I can't have my wish. I feel like this person might've been with somebody because there's some type of break here. There's some type of invisible gate that is being closed or line that is being drawn in the sand, right? And I feel like there is, and, uh, it's all because of this wisdom in the tree of life right here. And that starts the reading here. Let's see what else they have for Sagittarius. This person in their environment, Sagittarius, we have the chariot. This is determination. Here they are determined, right? They're on a horse because they don't have any gas, right? Even though the electric cars are, you know, more toxic. Yes, they are. It's a big lie. Mm-hmm. They just want you to buy it. They just want, just like they wanted you to, you know, take their stuff within the last two years, take their, uh, take their, uh, meds, right? So in the environment, Sagittarius is the chariot and here's Pegasus, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is them on their horse trying to get to you because they love you. That's it. He's carrying a torch. Your person's carrying a torch for you that nobody can put out. Yeah. Nobody can distinguish the flame, Sagittarius. Let's see what else they have. Show me what they hope, what they're hoping for. And they're hoping for you to show up at their door. Honestly, the visionary, this is the king of cups. Um, the, your person is the visionary. Maybe they don't want somebody to see this. Because there's some decision that's like, they're concerned about this decision here. I've, it has to do with the child. It's next to the child. And it's next to the false person too. This person could be coming to have a new beginning with you and they have a child and they don't want their person to know. Maybe their person is a water sign, king of cups. Doesn't have to be, but let's look at the outcome here. And we're going to discuss these cards, the world consummation. This is like, I'm going to have my wish and it's going to come true and I'm going to consummate it, right? Like when you get married, you have to have sex. You do to consummate a marriage. Otherwise you can have it annulled right away. These days, who knows? Because they don't respect, uh, society and civilization. No, they don't. They want everything crazy and dystopian, right? But here in the world and the outcome, this person, this is their wish, Sagittarius, to really make this come true and consummate this and get in bed, most likely, right? You feel like, <laughs> but uh, let's see what we have uh, for your person. Let's see. Let's talk about these cards over here. They have the Prince of Cups, the Charmer, the Realist reversed, the Nurturer reversed. 
I feel like this person was a bit of a trickster. Yeah, I do. Let's look at the charmer, right? And they're showing him here, and he looks like he's kind of, uh, his body, his position here shows this kind of uh, confidence. Yeah, let's see what it says about the Prince of Cups. Mm-hmm. And here he is, and this is a maybe card. Remember that these, well, these cards, you guys, are yes, no, and maybe cards. They are. So this is your person. They don't know if their wish is going to come true with you because here's the wishing well next to the concerned old man, right? And I don't know if they're old over here. They're showing him as good looking and, you know, 40, right? I'll take that one. <laughs> uh, but... Let's see what it says here. The Prince of Shells or Cups upright has his back to us, symbolizing his rejected conventional notions of what is right and proper. This person's rejecting something else. And whatever is conventional here, it could be a marriage with the court card reverse that's not showing up here. That, yeah, I still told you the story, but the adjudication card is here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like they're, I feel like this person is rejecting like another marriage or another situation. He has rejected conventional notions of what is right and proper. And I feel like they're doing that because they want, they want to be with you. You're the wish. I feel like they could have been trying to be practical. Maybe hold on to another relationship where there was money. Remember, they are the wealthy man, most likely, unless that's you, right? Let's see. And his hunting horn hangs strangely limp in his hand. His hunting horniness. Oh, just kidding. It's bell turned toward the ground, signifying he doesn't want his ways or whereabouts known. I just said that. They don't want somebody to understand what they're doing with the visionary card in their hope. Because your person is determined in their, in their environment. They don't want somebody to see what they're... They want their vision to come true, but I feel like they don't want somebody else to kind of see what they're doing. Yeah, that's how it seems in this reading. You're about to meet or explore taking on the qualities of a person like the Prince of Shells. He may seem fey. Don't know what that means, fey. Uh, somebody maybe with faith? Not sure. Strangely innocent or merely flirtatious, but he's actually a Don Juan, skilled beyond his years in the way of love. He acts boldly on his... See, it's kind of a, a little bit of a player, kind of, right? Mm-hmm. Skilled beyond his years in, a way, in the way of love. In the ways of love, he acts boldly on his romantic, sensual, and sexual impulses and explores them in ways most people are too inhibited to imagine. Yeah, mm-hmm. Your person is coming here. This can talk about somebody who wants to heal themselves. Uh, heal themselves. It also talks about attracting invitations and new contacts. Mm -hmm. And it talks about this, explore your sexuality carefully. You may be tempted to party with reckless abandon. Keep everything secret from those not ready to hear. Yeah, see here they are. I feel like your person's going to tell somebody here that they most likely want a divorce or an ending to their relationship. And there's a child here. They're concerned how to tell somebody here. It could be a concerning how to tell you that they've already done this. But they have some, your person here could have been a player in the past. I don't feel like they're coming to you as a player. I feel like what they are doing is rejecting something. It was talking about that, rejecting some type of societal or conventional situation. The realist is reversed. This is the king of pentacles. Is that the king? Yeah, he is. They call him the king of gems. Mm-hmm. In reverse, this is another maybe card. This person's coming to you to have a new beginning and they don't know if you want to do it. I feel like that's it. It can also be here that they are doing a couple things here. They have to tell somebody here that, that they want out of a relationship, most likely. Maybe it's a career, maybe, or a business, right? 
The king of uh, gems reversed, leans on his staff to symbolize he has retired from a life of pomp, responsibility, and ceremony. See, this person's getting out of a relationship. He has renounced his wealth. In other words, he gave up his money and position to embark on a journey to find the meaning of life. You are the meaning of life, Sagittarius, because here's the wishing well next to the tree of life, which is the tree of wisdom and experience. That's what it's called in some, in some cases. They're giving this up. I said that. They're giving up something, un, something conventional. And what this is talking about is like, kind of, I'm going to be unconventional. Like, I'm not going to follow these rules anymore. I'm going to go be with Sagittarius. Whatever. Come hell or high water. He is determined to walk the great philosophers of the ages path, learning from everyone he encounters, respecting their attempts to make sense of their lives. He, this person is making sense of their life because you are the meaning for them. This is a deep reading. I knew it was going to be with these cards, right? His earthly sense of humor is touched with a hint of sorrow because he is a realist and has compassion for those less fortunate. This person has compassion for whoever they're walking away from. That's why they are concerned about this letter and the adjudication. This is a decision, but it's a communication here. This letter could be a document. It could also be a divorce document. This letter could be any... They're showing it as like a letter appear, but it can be anything that is written or a document, official paper, especially next to this adjudication card, which is a court, right? They're in court, which is very official. He loves his queen with all his heart and soul, but no longer puts their relationship first. It's possible your person like loves somebody, but they're like, I can't do this anymore because Sagittarius is my true wish. Remember that Sagittarius, they have the consummation card, the world card. This is the Holy Grail. This is, I'm getting my, my, my wish after I have maybe walked through a few paths in my life. The world card is the end of the journey in the major arcana. You go from the fool, you go to the wheel of fortune, the hermit, etc. right? Uh, you go through the tower. I mean, you learn all these lessons. And at the end, the world is when you uh, have worldly experience and you are getting your wish now. But you're not getting it the easy way around. No. And sometimes it means the easy way, right? Sometimes it means closing out a cycle. And that's what they're doing here. Mm -hmm. You may find true love when you retire or someone who is retired. Retirement can improve an existing relationship. Okay, so let's see here. This talks about uh, your relationship will improve by studying the ultimate truth. The truth here is that they love you and that they're not letting anybody stand in the way, right? They're not. Yeah, and we have the Queen of Cups or the, I'm not Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles here. The queen of gems, they're both reversed, the queen and the king. You know, this for me is showing another element that you guys are a divine couple. They know that. Because the tree of life talks about wisdom, but intuition. Wisdom, right? Earthly wisdom, but spiritual wisdom. A soul wisdom intuitive wisdom right and the nurturer let's see what they say about the nurturer reversed right and she's the queen mm -hmm. you guys both could be reversed because you're not together this could be you and them regardless of whether or not they are virgo taurus or capricorn they don't have to be an earth sign no they don't and uh mm -hmm. and reverse the haughty gaze the howdy gaze of the queen of gems reversed reveals she thinks she's better than everyone and her wish is her is your command she takes for granted her good fortune and true love for her husband this and the true love her husband displays for her this person's taking somebody else for granted yeah they are so they can have their wish mm-hmm 
she can't be bothered nurturing her children and foist them off on nannies and relatives. Well, we don't know if they're doing this, but I feel like in the past, it's next to the past that this person did not nurture this relationship. And now there's a huge change, especially with the tree of life in this deck as the first card. We see the rainbow as the cycle. Mm -hmm. And the wisdom gained here. And this person could have judged you, Sagittarius, you know, in another way. I don't feel like they understood you in the past. I don't. Maybe you didn't understand them, but this tree of life is an awakening. And so this nurturer reversed can talk about somebody who really didn't understand somebody, so they didn't really nurture it. Right? Right? This can talk about somebody who is growing cold. They're doing this now with somebody else. And this is what they are concerned about here. And what they mean by this is your person's walking away from something. I said that at the beginning of the relationship. Uh, relationship. <laughs> the beginning of the reading. The three of roses is reversed. This is opportunity. And it's in the past. Reversed. They couldn't have an opportunity because they were kind of nurturing another situation. I feel like they didn't understand what this, that you were a great wish to them. I don't, I feel like they misjudged you. Your person could have been keeping up appearances, acting like they were happy. But once they went through this awakening, they're like, I can't keep doing this. Yeah. Your person is trying to protect their, pr protect their money here. We have the wealthy man at, at the end. They are trying to protect next to the false person. They're trying to protect their money here in, the, in this, uh, most likely a divorce, the adjudication card. Those people look like they're getting a divorce and they walk up to the front. They're not together. They're standing apart. Your person's trying to hold on to their wealth. The opportunity card's reversed. Let's look at the opportunity. This is the three of wands in this deck. And it is reversed too. Uh, mm -hmm. And this, yeah. Okay, let's see what it says. It's a yes. It's still a yes card. A wonderful opportunity may be missed or squandered. That's what I said. They missed an opportunity with you in the past. They don't want to squander it this time. They don't. An existing partner or a new pars partner may not be valued or may be overlooked entirely. They overlooked you, but I feel like now they're overlooking somebody else. Or they don't see the value in this other situation anymore. No, they don't. Right? If the relationship in question, be faithful to a deserving partner. This is what they want to do now. They want to be faithful to you. I feel like this person had some, like a disturbing awakening, the tree of life, the wishing well, and the concern car, car, they're all next to each other. This person had a disturbing awakening that they never stopped loving you or that they still love you. Same, same difference. Mm-hmm. Let's see what else it says here. If the relationship in question triangulates, it will not go well. Not really sure what they mean. A love triangle? I'm not sure what they mean by that. Put your partner, yes, I think that's what they mean. Put your partner ahead of your friends, family, or even children, or pay the consequences. They're not doing, they didn't do this in the past. They didn't put you ahead of somebody else. Now they're doing it because it's a missed opportunity, right? Let's see. Mm-hmm. Broadening your knowledge about the world and the people and its people can help you avoid mistakes. Yeah, they woke up. They, they matured as well. We see the mature man here with the concern card. 
Don't be passive. Seize the day. Re resolution may not come soon or easily. Don't waste time with people who don't take responsibility for their own actions and don't be one. They don't want to miss this opportunity now, but they missed it in the past. They have the four of wands on their mind. It's respect, right? And this is what they want. This card, yes, is an indication of a long and happy marriage. This is what they have on their mind now, a long and happy marriage with you. An existing relationship or when you are about to establish soon will be blessed by longevity as well as by love, gratitude, and respect given and given in equal measure. This is what they want with you because they missed this opportunity in the past because they were a big dummy, Sagittarius. This is a very good omen for a wedding or engagement. In the near future, they have stress. Yeah, and this is the 10 of wands. They have stress because... They're going to come to you and they're trying to make this work with you with this uh, prince, princess of gems. This is about, uh, about ingenuity and how do I craft this? And here he is concerned about it. How do I do it? How do I make it happen? And that's why we have the wishing well next to the concern card. I need my wish with Sagittarius. I'm concerned. How am I going to make it happen? Let's see what they say about the 10 of wands right? And this is uh, stress. And this is no in the near future. It's good. It is good. You, you have the ability to persevere and concentrate, but it's possible you're working too hard. This person is stressed out because I feel like they have two situations to deal with and they want, they want to be with you. And you can see the regret in this reading and the way and the maturity and the wisdom that they have. It may be interfering with the attention or affection others expect from you. This part, they're trying to concentrate on this. Yeah. And that's why he's sitting in that chair with a concern, very concerned. If you cannot stop the demands of your work, then you must try to conserve your energy. When you're overcommitted, everything becomes a strain. They know they're overcommitted. That's why they're leaving some, some situation here. Here they have the princess of gems. This is also kind of like the knight of pentacles. Mm -hmm. And there's two. The, the princess of gems is here. Let's have a look at her. Uh, well, they have the prince and the princess. And this is in the upright. And this is yes. This is their concern. If you're going to say yes. The princess of gems upright prepares to play a flute she has made in a garden she planted. Many city dwellers in her kingdom think she's naive and unsophisticated. This is their concern. If they're just dreaming about this, if this is just their, like, if they're being naive here, right? Am I just being naive or, or can I make this wish happen with Sagittarius? And here they are doing it here with the concern and the wishing. Well, am I really going to have my wish here? Or is this just a dream? Wow, we're going to end this reading, Sagittarius. In their environment is the determination card. Here they come. And they're hoping that their vision is going to work out here and that they're going to consummate this and live a life with you. We're going to the extended. I really want to see it. Yeah, this is a long reading uh, because of these cards. And we're going to see, Sagittarius, uh, how they feel, right? But we're going to go through their whole reading uh, with what they want and what they're afraid of and things like that. What's coming in for this person? And we're going to look at the dynamic between you both uh, with another deck. We are. We really want to see that particular spread on this person. Thank you so much for joining me here, you guys. God bless you guys. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.